like mm. every coach is uh, has their own perspective right of taking up the right. plan so now how do you ensure like every coach who is part of an institution does a similar job so every student gets a similar kind of an experience i think uh, product design in the netex space is uh, i mean uh, you have to see it from a bird size standpoint to understand like what exactly it is so there are multiple layers to it yeah so i'll just talk about a couple of things say for suppose now mm, we have all been through schooling right so we all right. know teachers who come and teach right but most of the time what so happens is there's not a lot of star teachers available for students right so the teacher student ratio is one teacher for every 30 students is something that's recommended right. but that's not something that's quite achievable Mm. at least in that all parts right so and right. also the teachers are too stressed out uh, when it comes to preparing for their lesson they have to run behind from one right. class to another class yeah so there the very crucial aspect that comes in is uh, because of the paucity of time student mm. I, I mean, teachers do not have the liberty to plan for their lessons yeah right and most of us through our schooling what we have only noticed is teachers come they teach not sure whether they have pre- prepped for it but uh, uh, what they teach in the class comes from uh, what their experience yeah right. so not right. every teacher is capable of giving you a similar kind of a learning experience as uh, any other teacher some teachers are great some teachers are not great so now the key question is how do you scale great teachers yeah okay. and it's very difficult right you cannot have great people always at every school every teacher right mm-hmm. so is there any value add that can be provided there so right. there the value add that comes is what's the kind of resources that uh, probably mm-hmm. we can create and those resources are something that comes really very handy for our teachers when they are kind of delivering so here the core aspect is uh, every student who is kind of taking up this material should have a similar experience and then the teachers uh, add a value to it yeah so the curriculum design becomes a key aspect to it uh, curriculum design here means lesson planning not very sure like a lot of us when we were in school there's a lesson planning right uh, this right, right. a lot of stuff that goes in how do you engage how do you measure learning outcomes how do you define learning outcomes and what are the activities right. that you expect students to do inside and outside class and for all of this there's a lot of thought time that needs to be put in right now teachers uh, because they don't have time and is there anyone else who could do them to support this yeah so as right. a product designer that's one key thing that probably mm-hmm. uh, you have to do so this is especially when it comes to learning from an academic standpoint yeah the same does apply for non academic standpoint say if someone has to learn music or someone has to learn chess or someone has to learn piano or any other game for that matter right it's a similar experience and it's not just catering to your uh, academics only right even if you are in a career you want to upskill like is there a way uh, that probably instructors can get the uh, concrete material which a lot of us can use and then upskill yeah so what is the kind of experience that goes in in designing the resources and right. also if it is more teachers uh, or coaches who are kind of interacting like mm. every coach is uh, has their own perspective right of taking up the right. plan so now how do you ensure like every coach who is part of an institution does a similar job so every student gets a similar kind of an experience right, right. all of that uh, does take up uh, like uh, product design experience so i think there are two aspects to it right like if you are talking about someone uh, who wants to channelize their education to get into this yeah for them uh, probably just curriculum design or product design it, uh, it, you need not restrict them to something like this yeah you can go one step forward it could be also about formulating your education policies or uh, just checking out the implementation mm-hmm. so it's not just cater to your private public sector at scale mm-hmm. both at a domestic level and a global level yeah so i think if someone wants to get into that arena of things probably doing their bachelor's in education or master's in education can be really helpful and uh, this is something that people do with other degrees also in place i think that's uh, something that people can pursue and probably right. there are really good colleges uh, uh, i mean maybe uh, not in india so much but outside right. uh, because i think 
recently like there's a lot of focus on edtech uh, curriculum right. design i think here it would take some more time for us to get that sense of maturity in terms of courses that are being offered but there is a good opportunity elsewhere but someone who is in uh, middle of their careers or trying to switch they can mm-hmm. pursue learning design or instructional design okay. certification courses and probably that would be a lot helpful uh, not just someone who wants to do in mm-hmm. the end. they can be in the any field right any company would need upskilling or does need training so anyone mm-hmm. with good instructional or learning design certification courses okay. can get into any company okay something that's not yet standardized uh, here is uh, say if you are talking about tech the career progression or the nomenclature across the organization is the same yeah so mm-hmm. now uh, there's a lot of boom that has happened in past 6 years yeah right. and what you see is especially in the net tech sector the role of a particular company that's not consistent across i think what you get to see is curriculum designer curriculum manager and stuff like that right. it takes a little bit of time but uh, a lot of them i think uh, what they kind of do is curriculum designer senior curriculum designer and once they spend a little bit of uh, that probably they get more into owning up that responsibility so maybe mm-hmm. associate director directors so that's how the kind of uh, career progression okay. is like yeah in the pandemic what has happened is uh, mm, there was a need for a lot of uh, teachers who could teach right so if you have right. seen get uh, a lot of the tech products were on the hunt for getting educators on mm-hmm. the platform uh, at scale right so there were at right. times there uh, people were hiring 500 800 educators for a product because that's the kind of a scale uh, that they were kind of looking up for but i think later what has happened is um, mm, a lot of people uh, so i think in the pandemic it was more like zoom classes right zoom classes right. teachers are teaching but your resources are not engaging enough yeah so there was a right. lot of digital fatigue uh, that has come into place uh, like you have especially see it from a student perspective right you have to sign up for math class english class social studies class all of that so it has become like probably is that something that's required at that early stages of life yeah uh i probably talking to teachers is something uh, that has triggered like how do you make sure there's mm-hmm. a quality screen time and based on quality screen time how do you de- design your product experiences that you are not right. throughout the day but uh, making sure that they are engaged for short time but you are kind of delivering the learning goals so as you have brought in ai right it's uh, you are you are kind of just checking out like um, how can you productively utilize to make things better yeah so that's one key aspect that's all always open as what is something uh, that can be done but apart from that the basic ground realities are something right uh, to one extreme like how do you see ai impacting uh, the learning outcomes but at the same time there are other extremes where there are fundamental infrastructures are not there yeah mm-hmm. so it's still there's a lot of room between two extremes which needs to be bridged yeah so i think right. uh, a major part uh, probably people what they kind to do is bridge this particular gap make sure that right. learning experiences are met and at the same time like uh, with the advent of technology uh, you'll have better tools that would again translate it into better execution at the grassroots right. level so yeah i think there's a long way